The building that was created to house hearing impaired tenants, but residents say it falls way short of doing that. Yeah, the people who live there say they've been fighting for months to get the owner to make modifications, but their efforts have been unsuccessful. And yeah, now they say they have no choice but to sue. James Ford is live for us on the Lower East Side with that story. James. And hello to both of you. We're talking a series of four buildings here that were constructed to house people who are hearing impaired. And for a few years, residents have gone to elected officials and community groups trying to get some basic conditions improved. Many of those conditions have improved, but when it comes to actual accommodations for the hard of hearing, well, residents here say the owners are falling short. When a carbon monoxide detector sounds or an elevator rings, they're devices with specific functions meant to help people get around and stay safe. But when you're Elwood Torres, they're not serving their full purpose, he says. Notice how the elevator tells you what floor you're on and then Mr. Torres repeats it. Okay, this is the fifth floor. That's because he can't hear the elevator prompt. He's hearing impaired. He lives in this row of buildings on Forsyth Street, built for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. While it does have some devices intended for the hearing impaired, like this light flashing system for the doorbell and another light flash for the smoke detector, it's not enough. That's what Torres says in this lawsuit against the owners and operators of the building. A deaf or hearing impaired person cannot be alerted when sleeping from a fire alarm that makes noise or flashes lights. A deaf or hearing impaired person needs a vibration device to alert them and wake them up if there's a fire or a CO issue. Andrew Lieb is the lead attorney in the case, which is a class action filed last week with Torres listed as lead plaintiff. Among his other complaints... This is the office for the guards. There's sporadic security guards at the building at a security front at the entrance. When they're there, though, they can't communicate with the residents because the residents are hearing impaired and deaf, and the security guards that are hired don't speak American Sign Language. The property management company, MMS Group, as well as the city's Department of Housing Preservation and Development are among the entities named in the lawsuit. And right now we're awaiting a response from those entities. Coming up at six o'clock, we hope to have what they have to say regarding this situation. Right now, reporting live from the Lower East Side, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News. All right, James, thank you.